Hey guys, welcome back to my channel Electronics Pedia. Today in this video, I am going to explain about a simple and also an interesting topic that is Tick Time Scale Compiler Directive. So you would have come across in your you know uh, design like you know uh, in the at the beginning of the Verilog or a system Verilog file, there will be some Tick Time Scale will be mentioned. So what are these actually Tick Time Scales? So Tick Time Scales are the compiler directive that is uh, it's going to tell us your simulation tool that how the delay units specified in the design needs to be calculated. So let me uh, you know explain that with an example. So uh, assume you would have mentioned so this is your uh, some uh, system verilog file tick time scale okay and uh, there will be something called uh, some 10 nanosecond by uh, 1 nanosecond okay something like this. So what is uh, actually these uh, you know uh, units are. So basically this is going to be a This is going to be a time unit and this is going to be a time precision. Okay, so now assume um, in a design, so um, uh, in a Verilog code or system Verilog code, so you, if there is a delay units are specified, okay, initial, so that's assume A equals to 0, so it's assigned, and then uh, uh, after hash. Uh, you know, one point some five six delay units of delay. Then there is a a is assigned with a value of two. Okay, and then uh, I have some dollar display statement. Okay, so this is going to tell me um, value a equals to two. Okay, at t equals to dollar real time then this is my n okay so assume uh, take example of this uh, uh, you know um, uh, take this example so what we are doing here uh, initial statement and then this is a some delay after 1.56 hash units of delay a is assigned to the value 2 and I'm just displaying the statement uh, I'm just printing the statement dollar display so now uh, this is basically the time unit so now uh, whatever the hash uh, this 1.56 is there so we have to multiply that with a time unit now assume so that means it became uh, 1.56 into 10 so that becomes 15.6 uh, okay so now assume how is my precision precision is nothing but how my uh, you know um, the time or the delay units needs to be you know rounded off so that will tell me uh, what is the precision so now if you see uh, this is a 1 nanosecond so that means it can the the time can increment by a value of 1 nanosecond so that means here the closest value to this next value is that this is a 16 nanosecond okay so this will that means so even though you have mentioned like one hash 1 dot 5 6 over here so that means but the value of uh, a will get assigned I mean it will be get displayed and that real time value t equals to will be 16 nanosecond okay so this is the you know uh, the uh, tick time scale so now if i want to draw it in terms of the uh, you know waveform or how it looks like in the precision is um, so now uh, let's take the same example okay hash one uh, right so uh, one dot uh, five six and also let me take some one dot uh, three two okay some this one so now so 10 nanosecond I have mentioned so that means here is this is my uh, 0 okay so this is my 10 nanosecond this is my 20 nanosecond okay so now okay from here to here 10 nanosecond so I will have a precision of 10 1 nanosecond that means I will have sub divisions of total 10 so this is one uh, uh, this is one two three four five 6, 7, 8, 6, 7, 8, 9, and this is 10. So this is how the, you know, sub uh, divisions are there. So now, when somebody mentioned this 1.56, hash 1.56, so that is over here. So it, it, I have multiplied that with the, uh, the time unit, that's a 10 nanosecond, so that becomes 15.6. So that means here, uh, this is again 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 
So now 15.6 comes over here, okay, um, somewhere over here 15.6 but what are we doing we are uh, nearing it off to the next value the next value is over here the then the neck the we are uh, rounding off to the closest uh, value so here so 15.6 is here so we are rounding off to 16 nanoseconds that means when you mention the hash value of 1.56 it will take it as a uh, 60 nanoseconds but now uh, it's mentioned as 1 brought 3 2 okay next one is so that means 13.2 nanoseconds okay this is 13.2 so here it will be there uh, 13 uh, 1 2 3 yes 13.2 will be somewhere here here when it is mentioned 13.2 what we are doing is we will be rounding off to a value of 13 because that is the nearest uh, uh, you know value that is precision uh, value is available so this is how the tyrantic time scales are calculated uh, also, um, now if you observe uh, carefully, uh, um, assume take example, uh, there is a, uh, one more, like you know, uh, 1 nanosecond by 1 picosecond. So this is uh, kind of uh, commonly used uh, tick time scales. So if you see this, so what does it mean? So that means it can, uh, the time unit, if somebody mentioned it as hash 1.567. Uh, uh, Okay, so that it means it's uh, we have to multiply that with, with a value of 1.5. Uh, uh, this uh, this this is the uh, delay hash delay, and we are multiplying that with this value. So it becomes one say it's the same value. But here, if you see point, uh, we have the precision up to one picosecond. That means we can mention the delay up to 0.001. So we can mention a delay value up to this value. This is a minimum delay that we can give if we have this 1 nanosecond by 1 picosecond. So this will tell us the precision. So how much low you can go with the, you know, by, while mentioning the uh, you know, delay units. So this is the uh, you know, uh, concept of the you know, tick time scale. I hope this information is useful and also it's a kind of a confusing topic. Uh, it's a confusing uh, concept. Uh, that's why I thought of explaining this and um, please do let me know in the comment section if you have any queries related to this uh, time scale I'll be happy to help and make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so that you receive all the further updates. Thank you